step, and he annihilated it. This guy is amazing, fantastic. You're gonna love him as much as I do. Please give it up for Mr. David Delgado. Hello. How's everybody doing? Doing good? Feeling good? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good. I just came all the way from Maryvale. And boy, are my nuts dry. It's <laughs> fucking around. But hey, if, uh, if every time you guys come home, you know, and your wife is yelling at you, is that habitual? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that habitual? It's kind of It's kind of crazy. But, uh, you know, uh, everybody thinks I'm an islander. I'm not an islander, I'm Mexican. <laughs> But when I was single, I used to tell the ladies, why are you longing for a Tongan? <laughs> they would go, uh-huh, uh-huh, you know. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm not single, I'm married. And I don't, I don't miss them single days. Especially when I was dating them strippers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, I dated me some crazy strippers. I once dated this one stripper, she would say fucked up shit. You know, we'd be, one time we were watching this porno, and, you know, in this porno, this chick was getting double penetrated. Or as I like to say, the fucking turducken. <laughs> you know what I mean? This and there and that and there. And maybe even the chimpanzee. <laughs> I like the chimpanzee. Or at least watching it. I've never been a part of the chimpanzee. <laughs> goes, oh, never do that again. <laughs> and then she leans in for a kiss. <laughs> never do that again. That's terrible, you know, that's disgusting. And then one time, you know, she lived with other strippers, like four other strippers. And uh, one of her friends comes out and says, oh my God, I hope nobody, you know, wore my bottoms. No, because I got crabs. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, she's got crabs. And, you know, and my woman goes, oh wait, hold on. I got the shampoo. <laughs> she runs to the bathroom and you know, comes back and she's like, here you go. It's the good stuff. It's made for Courtney Love. Come on, kill everything. Kill everything. That's a good song. Songs written about. Oh, I miss you, Kurt. <laughs> I think I'd be missing Kurt too and doing it that way. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, but also, I don't, you know, I mean, well, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes I missed, I miss them girls, you know? You know what I'm saying? I dated the, the cake writer. I missed her. You know what I'm saying? We'd be having sex. I'd be about to come. She would jump off, grab it. Happy? Jizzling? <laughs> David! <laughs> I'd be all, oh, to the curse of Z's. <laughs> Of my mom. I'm not gonna say that. She's like, well, uh, let me Snapchat it. Uh, she's gonna make my, my next birthday cake. She was like, boom. Just David. I miss the eye doctor. Man, do I miss the eye doctor. You know what I mean? It was like, do you like one or two? Yeah, you know, it, it is kind of crazy. You know, you know what I, um, 
You know, did you guys know I have the cure, the motherfucking cure for obesity? Dinosaurs. <laughs> Dinosaurs. I watched a chick take 20 fucking minutes to go into fries the other day. Now with pterodactyls, you know, gone, eaten. You know what I mean? Be some skinny motherfuckers. If there was still some dinosaurs. Get to the bus, kids. Hurry up. And you know what? You know there there'd be some motherfuckers. There'd be some dudes sitting in bars. You know, back in the old days, shit was like, goddamn Mexicans. Goddamn beaners and Asians. You know, now it would be goddamn velociraptors. Wouldn't be no more racism. Jose, Jeb, and you know, Elijah be chilling out. Oh, I fucked up them velociraptors, you know. It'd be one unified, you know, enemy. No more racism. We'd be fucking up dinosaurs and getting skinny. <laughs> oh my god. We need some fear in our lives. You know what I mean? We ain't got this, you know, that's why people have God. You know, ah, you know, we all want that. Ah, I better be better. <laughs> you know, god damn, you know, it's like, it's like when you snort a little too much coke. <laughs> and you're like, oh my god, I do not want to die like this. <laughs> I'm gonna be, oh, my, what's my mama gonna say? You know what I mean? One line, two line. The line. You crossed the line, motherfucker. Shit. <sighs> um, but uh, has anybody here, you know, is the economy is kind of tough right now, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it kind of tough? The economy is so tough that my buddy had to go from escorts to hookers. <laughs> I said, what's the difference? He said, about 250 in a shower. <laughs> I've been, uh, you know, I've been so broke, man. I've been trying to find all sorts of crazy shit to make money. You know what I mean? I've been, I'm coming up with a new dating website for hairy motherfuckers like me. It's gonna be where a dude like me can find himself a hairy woman. You know what I mean? A good old hairy hippie bitch. It's gonna be called Grizzly Madams. You know what I mean? I'm, and you know, some hairy motherfuckers gonna be in there. You know, be like, yeah, Grizzly Madams. Yeah. Um, also, you know, I'm gonna. I'm sick of the chicks having the cleavage. What? Yeah, I'm sick of chicks. Having, I'm gonna make some pants with. We're gonna have nut cleavage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have a little nut cleavage and shit. And uh, you know, for the smart guys, we're gonna have the brain. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're gonna have the brain and shit. And then for the. Um, you know, for the dancers, disco balls. <laughs> Can you imagine that guy on the dance floor? <laughs> disco balls. And uh, you know you got apple bottom jeans? We're gonna have apple bag. <laughs> apple bag. Oh. Hells yeah. And I can see the commercial now, man. You know what I mean? Some dudes out there dancing, woo, you know. Some girls like, oh my god, that is awesome. Oh, 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 and he's gonna be like, oh, up here? <laughs> up here? Um, I'm gonna leave you with just one more thing. I'm gonna leave you with my impersonation of a woman running hurdles. 